Hi everyone, my name is Keely and I am the owner and creator here at Soy in Shea. Today I am going to take you along as I make a soap that I've been wanting to make for a long time now and that is black licorice. Let's go. Alright, so let's start this soap as we always do. In this bucket I have my oils which have come down to room temperature and I have my lye water solution here as well. I'm going to pour my lye water down my stick blender just to stop any splashback. I'm going to mix it up to a light emulsion or up to a trace to a light emulsion I should say and then I'm going to split it out for the colours and today we are going to do an in the pot swirl. Okay, so for today's colours I am going to do the base of my soap in black because we are doing black licorice. In this pot I have some bubblegum mica which I have mixed up with a bit of olive oil just so it incorporates easily into this small amount of soap. This one has some wellington mica and then I also have some cool vista blue. And then also because we do get white in our licorice all sorts packs, I am also going to pour off just a little bit of white as well. So I'm going to get those colours mixed in. I'm going to put activated charcoal into my base. And then I am going to put my fragrance in before we start doing our in the pot swirl. To do the rest of the mixing of this with the spatulas so I'm going to take my stick blender apart I still haven't found myself one that I really like so it has a really nice bottom and some good blades on it but we will find one soon hopefully pop that one out the way all right so we're going to give that a good stir just to make sure that all of the color is incorporated and I'm going to hand stir my fragrance in now this fragrance is meant to have zero vanillin in it, so it shouldn't actually discolour any of these. That yellow will go a really sort of funky colour, but it will actually come back to a really nice bright yellow again once the soap is saponified. So I'm going to get that stirred in. pink we'll get our spatulas out of the way I am going to do some yellow in this side we might do white over here we'll do some pink at the front and blue at the back might do a bit of pink over here a bit more blue over there there really is no rhyme or reason I'm just trying to keep my colors a little bit separate from each other I'm going to come over here I might pour the rest of that kind of in the middle I am really looking forward that little bits just floated up to the top and it looked really good so I can't wait to see what this looks like I'm going to leave these little bits in here so I can add to the top of the soap when we're done and just get a bit more of that yellow out I'm just going to grab this spatula here and I am just going to give it one turn and that's all because I don't want to muddy it up but I do want to get a little bit of flow in there. I'm going to grab my mould and I am going to just start pouring in. Let's go from this side here, make sure that is all attached and that is looking so good as it's pouring out. I have wanted to make this black licorice soap for so long. I am so pleased this is a well behaving fragrance as well. I'll get that almost, should be just right, it is. I am just going to get that stuck back in there. Right, so I'm just going to drizzle a little bit of this colour just across the top. It's not really going to be seen that much. But just in case there are any gaps, we'll give it just that little bit more interest. Alright, so I am really pleased 
is how this is looking. This fragrance oil is a very well behaved one. This is still very, very fluid. In fact, it is too fluid at the moment to be able to put any of the embeds on because they will just sink. So I'm going to leave it sit here for about five minutes and then I'll come back and pop the embeds on. Okay, so this is all setting up nicely, so we should be able to put our embeds on without it sinking. And this is what we've got to go on the top of our licorice soap. So if you didn't catch this week's behind the scenes video, I will leave a link for you up in the corner. And I showed you how I made these ones using some melt and pour. And then these licorice ones are made using some soap dough. So we are just simply going to plop them onto the top in no rhyme or reason. I just want lots of different licorice all over them. So each bar will actually have their own individual individual mix of lollies and I am just going to place them on the top making sure that they are just in enough that the melt and pour will or the soap will hold them in place but not so far out that they'll end up falling off these ones that have got sort of the rounded edge I'm going to put the rounded edge into the soap because generally these lollies are quite square when you get them so we'll put that in there so who here does like licorice? Licorice for me is one of these sort of childhood memory things. Mum absolutely loves licorice and I remember her always getting a box of Bassett's licorice all sorts at Christmas and I think that's kind of where my love of licorice always came from as well because I was always allowed a piece out of her collection there. I love all things licorice, whether it be the actual lollies or if it's something like fennel or aniseed. Um, I like any of the sambucas and things like that as well. So I really do like licorice. The only thing I don't like in licorice is the Dutch licorice and that's that really salty licorice that you get. So I'm not really a fan of that one. Let's start putting some of these others in. I used to like these ones, the ones that had the white centers and the black on the outside. I was never really a fan of these ones. I used to pull the layers apart on those and just eat the licorice out the middle. Same with these, I used to just pull the color off and eat the, the licorice in the middle. I never really liked that sweet fondant style stuff that was on the outside of those ones. But these ones were always my favorite. These ones that were covered in the little sort of hundreds and thousand dots. And they always come in like a pink and a blue. I used to absolutely love them, as did my mum. So I didn't get very many of them because it was always mum's Christmas present. So she used to get first dibs on which ones she got from out of her pack of licorice. So I'm going to keep popping these ones on here. And I am loving the top, all that colour underneath. So I will actually leave some of that so it is poking through as well because it's just so much fun. Keep getting all of these ones in. And then I'm pretty much not going to do anything else, no sort of um, glitters or anything on top of this soap. Otherwise, I think it might be a little bit too much overkill there. But I am going to get in as many of these little licorice pieces as I possibly can. I actually was quite naughty when I finished making these um, these licorice pieces up. I took the photos for them ready to go on the video and I sent my mum a picture. I said, oh, I hope they're Bassets. And I actually wrote back and I said, well, they don't taste very nice. They're a bit soapy. So I'll definitely have to make sure that I save her a bar of this one because I think she may have been a bit disappointed that these weren't the actual licorice all sorts, that they were, were soap. But I'm sure she will absolutely love this bar once I give her a piece and all will be forgiven. Let's pop a couple more of these sort of bigger ones in here just to fill some of those other gaps. So that is it. I think I am full with all of my licorice all sorts. I've pretty much used all of them now. I am going to bring you down for a closer look of my licorice all sorts soap. 
So here it is up close. Look at all those licorice lollies sitting on the top there. It really does look like someone has come along and thrown a bag of lollies on top of this soap. And you can just see little peaks of that pattern from off the soap top coming through. I am so pleased with it so far. I'm going to leave it sit overnight and I'm going to come back tomorrow, cut it open and see what swirls we've got on the inside. I am back to cut black licorice and it is smelling so good. Well, if you're a licorice lover, it is smelling amazingly true to the licorice smell. I am so keen to see what we've got on the inside. I am actually going to lay this soap on its side this time just because we have got that mix of melt and pour and um, the soap dough. I don't want to put too much strain on my cutter here. I'm also going to cut myself a couple of samples off here. I'm not too bothered about lining up all the different pieces of licorice because I just want it to be an assortment of licorice on the top. We are going to start pushing through. It's actually going through quite well for now. And we are going through quite easily, actually. Almost there. And there it is. All right, so we'll grab a piece from out of the middle here and we will see what we've got. And that is what licorice all sorts looks like on the inside. So we've actually got a very fine, delicate swirl from doing that in the pot. And there is an assortment of licorice on the top of this soap. It is smelling really good. I am actually really pleased with how that has come together. It wasn't quite the swirl that I was expecting, but I'm actually really quite pleased with it. It's not um, too overwhelming on the inside and just brings all of those colors down nicely into the soap here almost looks a bit um, galactic or space-like in the middle there as opposed to licorice all sorts but I am super happy with this the fragrance is just absolutely amazing I think this one is going to hold strong and true um, throughout its cure process here so there's another one with all the little bits of licorice let's grab this one as well so you can see we've, it definitely has a very fine swirl through this one I can't believe how delicate that is in there and each of them have got their own selection of licorice on the top so I hope you have enjoyed watching how I made my black licorice I certainly have enjoyed making it and it has been on my wish list to make for a very long time if you did enjoy watching me why not leave me a thumbs up and any comments down below if you've got any questions I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can and until the next video that comes out I hope you have a great week and I will see you then bye